cool. Gamers. Nerdy. Let's go. People who are watching that are not gamers. Welcome back. Everyone's ever everyone's a gamer if they're here, okay? All right. Whether you want like to be that. one or not. I like right? that attitude. You're you're we're forcing the gamer ideology uh, uh, among the chat. Yes. yes. I can see that. 100%. I can see that. <laughs> we are back. This is uh this is the start of our last match of the season three MC Star rank playoffs. We can throw it to the bracket real quick and see the 14 fallen soldiers that wow. had to lose for Priffin and Hacking Noises to get to where they are right now. Our number five and number six seed, Nerdy, the first time we haven't seen the one seed win, but also the first time we haven't seen the number one seed even in the bracket. Or in the grand finals, I'm sorry. The one seed's always in the bracket. You know what I meant. I know what you meant. And, I mean... Yeah, we're going to get someone who's, who did not win last season as the uh, winner of the playoffs. So that's, that's you know, that's, that's exciting. Um, that is exciting because last time, you know, we, we always just, we, yeah, it, it would have been kind of a cool storyline if the person who, uh, who got first place on the leaderboard got first place in the playoffs three, years, uh, three seasons in a row. But at the yeah. same time, it is exciting to see new storylines emerge. Exactly. And I think, uh, I think we can throw it over to the player cards for just a second. I do want to see the record between these runners. Very close. Nice. Four to five, Nerdy. So Priffin wow. a little unfavored here, but not by yeah. much. So look, 60% win rate, 12-24 ranked average. Let's see Hacking Noise's stats here. Again, they'll be up when we're playing as well, but just curious what his are looking like. Slightly worse Perfect. win percentage, but better ranked average time. Maybe some more forfeiting happening on the ladder. Maybe a little bit more inconsistent play. But, yep. I mean, Nerdy, if you've been watching these games, Hacking Noises have been nothing but consistent the entire bracket. I mean, Absolutely. one faltered seed against Beef Salad, but he brought it back. And every other seed yep. was just basically perfect. Yep. So, yeah. I mean, let's look at the seed pick bands again, guys. The grand finals is a best of seven. So it's a little squished. But the way this works is it's the same thing, basically, as the best of fives. We just kind of play two more at the end if we need to. The players ban a seed each. The, fir the first three seeds have to come from the three seeds that were not banned. And then from the last four seeds, we basically refresh the seed pool. So yep. you can pick every seed over again. But, like, you can't pick Buried Treasure four times in a row for seed four, five, six, seven. You can pick Buried Treasure seed four but then it goes away again for seed five, six, seven. So the bands do matter, but they matter a little less here because if it gets to game seven, you're basically playing every seed type once or twice. So we will see, but we're starting out with a Desert Temple Nerdy, some all advancements, enjoyers in chat. I'm ready to get into the game. I mean, I know these runners have been waiting long enough. They haven't been playing the, uh, they didn't play in the third place match. Hacking Noise has played what, first today? Or um, no. Priffin and Rao played first today. So Priffin's and been kind of AFK for a while. What were you going to say as well? I, I was just going to say, I, we, some insider information from the one and only Curry Way. Uh, allegedly, uh, Hacking Noises is very excited, popping off, in fact, that we get to play a Desert Temple first. So he's confident, he's excited, and he's ready. Uh, I, I, I just, just presuming that Priffin picked the same thing, that might be true for him. He's been playing exceptionally well this tournament. And so at the end of the day, I feel like both these players have, I, I, don't, I don't even know. They just, it, it could go either way. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. Yeah, I am um, ready to watch this. And I think, Nerdy, what, um, what are your thoughts on how this best of seven is going to go? If you can make a yeah. prediction before we start, because I have one in my head, but I'm okay. curious to see what you think. Uh, Who's going to what? win? What's just the for fun, against? just for fun, I'm going to say, and I don't really have any evidence for this, both insanely good players, but just for fun, I'm just going to keep the narrative going that, I, that I'm kind of like, you know, it would be so cool, which is uh, for Hacky Noises not to drop a seed in the entire tournament. So I'm going to say 4-0 Hacky Noises, but I realize that that is very unlikely. But just for fun, that's going to be my... I'm going to lock in that guess. I like the guess. I think, I mean, it would be the most dominant playoffs performance we've ever seen. 
it would be a crazy storyline for, for it to be Hacking Noise's first playoffs as well, playing against a lot of people that have played season one, two, and three. But in my opinion, I think it's going to be 4 2 in favor of Hacks. I think it's going to get to that 3 2 situation. I think he's going to be able to clutch up seed six. I think he's just going to have what it takes. All right. Fair enough. A little bit you more know. than Priffin does. But again, I mean, part of it too, Priffin's just been waiting around a little bit longer. But I mean, the time zones are crazy. I think it's like four in the morning for Hacks right now. Yeah. Or something. So. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Who knows? That's crazy. That, that's wild. That is wild. But also, oh, I, I, I don't know. Um, people in chat will, will probably know more than I will, potentially. But I'm not sure about, like, the biggest tourney accomplishment for either of these runners. I know Hacking Noises got third place in ESI 3 just a couple months ago. Okay. But I'm not sure if there's been any notable tourney wins in general like i don't think either of these runners have won a trt maybe priffin's won a btrl or two okay apparently priffin's team got second place in relay which again i mean a team tournament not really a solo thing very different than rank but i mean you are playing um you are playing priffin would be playing 116 in that um event i think or maybe priffin was their maybe priffin was their 115 player i don't even know been told priffin priffin has won uh weeklies twice which is um, impressive as well. But I mean, not to toot the horn of ranked a little bit, but I think this is the, the highest ticket match these players have probably ever played in their lives. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think that's fair. I mean, just monetarily, probably, right? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, nerves are going to come out probably. Well, I, I think that's fair to say that there, there's going to be nerves. Can they handle the nerves? I think that's more the question yeah. here. As we see, look at this hacking noises. Yeah, love uh, this speed. I mean, just, into the... Yeah, knowing that this lava pool's here, this is a great play from both runners. Yep. And a fast desert temple seed too nerdy. Look at this. 130-ish from both wow. runners. Hacks choking yeah. a little bit on this enter, but Prifin, uh, same In time sync. almost for both of these runners. Wow, yeah. this is awesome. Okay, hopefully this, this pace matching continues as we continue on here. Uh, we see both runners now running towards the Bastion. Towards this uh, warped forest, we will have to see. What do we got here? Yeah. This looks like a treasure it's bastion. Yeah. Was that the fortress in the background? No, just some nether fog. So if these runners don't see the fort, we're going to see potentially breaking the spawner looking for that wow, pirate. Wow, look at that play from Hacking Noises going for the boat clutch in this high of a scenario. is crazy to me. And he, and he takes his lead back. On a little bit of a yeah. terrain mistakes, but gets that lead back. I mean, that, he's playing with confidence, Nerdy. Yeah. <laughs> for your prediction, for your 4-0, four, four you love to see that. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, we do have a treasure, which we ha he had issues with last uh, in, in his last uh, series, right? Perfect. Damage this list. Time, though, has the it. absorption right still. Yep. Perfect play. And Priffin as well, damage list. T-Wag's route as well. A little slower, more routes, consistent. Yep. Takes a damage list. Well done. Yep. Not sure where the fort is for either of these runners, but they're just both cranking this treasure out right now, grabbing the backups when they need to. Getting all their trades. It is a low food Desert Temple seed. Only 11 flesh for hacks. Potentially maybe one or two gaps for both runners as well. But, yep. I mean, they entered at 130. There was no other food obtained from um, mobs or anything like that. Absolutely. Um, one thing to note, of course, is we have the French-Canadian from Priffin screen on your left, and we've got the Norwegian on the right. So slightly different there, it's some small deviations in how effective they are for search crafting, but we will have to see if any of those small little, you know, nitpicky things ends up uh, making any difference in this grand finals. Yeah. Nine pearls only. Looks like these runners are gonna have to grab lower blocks. Hacking noises forcing these backups because it is a lot faster to get just these two gold blocks as it is to grab the entirety of lower treasure going down and up, wasting pearls, wasting food, things like that. That's to box that pig out. But we will see. Looking for the fort as well. I saw Perfin do this with the wide macro. I'm not sure if he got anything they needed. Hacking noises, his own wide macro, sprinting on soul speed, and I think he got something. 
likes that pearl direction there, but only 13. Are we going to commit to lower treasure? We are. Wow. Double pearl hang right now for Hacks. He's going to have to increase his render at the end of this, but he can't increase it too much. Just has to grab a couple more pearls. Did Priffin leave on 11, though? Does Priffin somehow have more pearls? Did he, did Hackenoises miss a trade somewhere? I'm a little sure. confused. I, I'm not sure if Priffin has more pearls. I'd imagine he would not leave on 11. People in chat saying it's 14. Not. Hacking Noise is having a double big Magma Cube experience right now. Did Perfin just throw two pearls, though? Yeah. Yeah, Perfin now only has 12. 12. Which means there's about a 6% chance that his seed is almost over. If he gets a break on his one eye throw. Granted, that's not that high of a chance, but he can't pearl at all to the, bash or to the fort. Right. He does see the fort coming up on the left here but he can't pearl he can't pearl to second portal cords he can't pearl for zero nerdy some big big considerations there that hacking wow. noises might be able to take advantage of this is high rank here as well on the right Everything's just going to get slowed down here for Priffin, even though he does technically have that, that lead right now, right, of being in the Fortress first. But Hacking Noises is uh, struggling with the Pyre, good. and he gets the direction. How many pearls does Hacking Noises have, though? He's got eight. How many in the, in the hop or in the inventory? I believe he has eight in the inventory as well, I, I believe. I'm, I'm so you think sure he's at right. 15 right now, and Priffin yes. has 12. I mean, Priffin yes. then, you know, has a huge advantage here, I think, that the three pearls... How many is Hacking Noise is going to use to get over to this fort? Is he going to use zero and save them all for the worst case zero cycle situation? Is he going to use one to save time? You know, These are the play it sort of 50 50. He's going to use one. Will he use two? No. I think, I think he's I close think he's enough. He's going to use the one. Dropping yeah, render here. Yeah. But look at Perfin Donut TNT here at a spawner. But again, just so worrisome about those pearls, nerdy. Because zero is basically completely off the table. I mean, it yeah. has to be like a two eye or a one eye with just the craziest low front tower that it doesn't fly. Right. But any cage, and it's over. Back dragon, basically over. Need a three eye at that point. Is this going to break for Priffin? This is the question. No. No. That's huge. He has saved at least, can enter the end, no matter what. Won't break for Axe either. Two rods, has the eight pearls, has the beds and explosives for zero. Five bed, one anchor, but basically can't zero. Needs to be, again, at least a two eye, which is possible, but improbable compared to Hax's situation. Hax can even throw a pearl to second portal cores if he wants yep. to. We'll have to see if those pearls come in handy. But Hax on five rods is, is not bad at all. Scary. TNT. Yeah, I mean, what's Perfin on? Three or four? Starting to head to cores. Yeah. Maybe he's on six. Looking at the strays, actually. Three blazes out here. Gets his sixth rod and he's headed to it. But again, no pearl. Has to build here. Not sure how far he has to go. Let's see here. Boating down. Hopefully no bridging needed for Perfin or anything like that. Looks, looks like, like he's at he's the, like the cords. Yeah, very close to the, to, the, to the fortress. Definitely helping out Perfin more, but I would, I would think Hax would not want to throw pearls either. This is going to come down to zero, I think, Nerdy. Yeah. Perfin gets the obby down, no misplacing. Could be a potentially very, very, very expensive obsidian. Spike for Perfin, bottom spike, right. Yeah. This looks like a very, very, very obvious path. Is it going to be a two eye? Yeah, Can yeah. he zero? It's a one eye. If it's short tower, it's potential. I don't know if he's even going to pre craft, though. 
No, he's just going to enter. Not coming into the zero. Is this back or front? Can Hax hit the zero? Wow. Where's the dragon? Griffin, look up. It's back dragon. If Hax is saving all of his pearls, he can. He's, but I don't know. He's got, takes from Hax here. Yeah, he's got 13 pearls right now. And he built this portal too high. He's not going to ice by here. He's in the stronghold. It's, it's a spike, spike there. Same Goes exact place. Oh my god, the mob's here. This hunger reset's not going to be good, but he's going to have to try to push the zero, especially knowing he's going to have two pearls, nerdy, to spare. Yeah. Going to try to get in this hole with the silverfish. Got to be careful here. Because he, well, he can't pearl, so he wants right. them to kill him. He can't waste any pearls. Perfin might have a snap, though. Might be too late. There it is. Yep. And that should be game one here. Hax is going to lose his first seed of the entire playoffs in the grand finals. Wow. Clean four bed from Priffin. And I mean, even, even with two pearls, Hax has hit a crazy back dragon here. Has to run. Would have been maybe possible, but just a little bit too much time loss playing that lower treasure in the bastion didn't pay off. Yep. Priffin Absolutely. able to just go. And save that time. Yeah, and there's the splits. It's just 50 seconds there from Bastion to Fort. And then I guess, you know, a little bit from Fort to End, which is surprising considering Priffin had no pearls to go to terrain. But, I mean, Priffin with a strong opening in Seed 1. Packing Noises taking his first loss of the entire tournament. Can he bounce back? Wow. Yeah, I mean, very, very good stuff from both runners. What did you think about the, the, the choice from Priffin to leave early? Uh, did you agree with that? Um, I mean, he threw what, like one or two pearls kind of panicky? Almost yeah. dying, I think. Yeah. And we'll, we'll see that more in the analysis segment. But I think it's the right play, you know? Because it's so slow to go down and up to lower treasure, sure. trade out yeah. more stuff. You have no idea when the pearls are going to come. I like that play from Priffin. It is risky, though. It yeah. could have not paid off, but it did in the seed. And he just he committed to the speed, and it worked. I mean, super well played to both runners here. Um, yeah, I mean, good Minecraft. What can I say, you know? Yeah. It's good Minecraft. And for seed two... It's either Room Portal or BT, and it's Room Portal. So potentially a sub-tenable seed, almost sub-10 on this last Desert Temple. Yeah, and I feel like this is where Hacking Noises shines. Um, you know, just the mechanical stuff. I'm excited, very excited, in fact, to watch this seed uh, because we've seen him have some absolutely ridiculous seeds on Rune Portals, some ridiculous times. And I'm hoping that we get something comparable. Yeah, I mean, very, very possible this could be sub-10. I mean, again, what, what was it? I think in the round of 16, Hacking Noises almost pulled a sub-8 on a room portal scene, just got lost Something in the stronghold. Like that. Something just, like just that, Just yeah. some insane stuff. So, yeah, we will see. But, I mean, I think we're ready to get into it. See if he can bounce back nearly from his first loss ever in a ranked playoffs tournament. He has lost in the qualifiers before in the last couple of seasons, but in the bracket format, in a 1v1, this is the first time that Hacking Noises has ever yeah. Lost a seed. Yep. Ugly ruined portal, though. This is not what I think when I think of a fast ruined portal seed. But we have six iron nerdy, so maybe it doesn't matter. Gonna have to craft the iron, though. And then find our food. But we got our water. Gonna have to do a completion here on this ruined portal. But it is what it is. See how this, shape ups, see, see how this shapes up, where they're gonna get their food. How these runners are going to play the slight differences in this overworld. Chickens on Priffin's screen. I think I saw cows in the back closer to the room portal. Can always grab a lava bucket to kill these mobs faster. Those were not cows. Those were horses. But there are cows farther in the back. They both runners have spotted. Hacking noises for getting the lava bucket though. That's going to give Priffin a little bit of time save. Griffin on six stake now. 
He clutched that last stake as well. Hacking Noises Cow is wandering just a little bit farther. Took him just yeah, a little like bit Griffin more time to get over here. here. Yeah, I mean, Hacking Noises forgot um, a Lava Bucket. And Priffin with a really nice Rune Portal completion here. Going to be ahead by 15, 20 seconds, perhaps. Just very well done. And Hack's not going for the completion either. Griffin's saving time on that play. Wow. But we have a Basalt Nether Spawn. This is not what you want to see if you're either runner here. Basalts are the worst, as any Minecraft speedrunner will tell you. Let's see here if Priffin can make something happen here. Such a far bastion. Hax gets the spike so late, and it's in the Basalt. Yeah. He's going to be heading the same way. But it does open up, far. and there's the spawner right there on Priffin's screen. Nice. There it is. So think, not uh, that much terrain to, uh, for Akinors to catch up time. Good stuff. Great. Gold pick as well with the gold block in the room portal to grab some blocks because Priffin's got no blocks right now. And it looks like this is a oh. bridge. So you guys know what that means. We're going to see some difference potential in the language search crafting because Priffin is using uh, East, sorry, uh, is using um, French Canadian. Whereas we, we see, there it is. Oh, there, there is. it is. Hacking noise the screen. Right there, my favorite, the gold pickaxe and gold helmet craft. It wasn't even because of the region. bridge, it was the gold block in the room portal. But I guess that's when you need the golden helmet in the, in the bridge route. Well, so. I know. You, you, yeah, that's what I need. I, I, I know why you're hyped. I get it. I love it. I'm just hyped. All right. I love the craft. But, um, but yeah. Anyways. Making a trade hole there, does he potentially maybe know it's double single? He, he sort of pre set up a, a double single hole, which was very weird. I don't know if it's... Oh, Hacking Noise is doing a fall. Oh, and oh my dead. god! He's dead! That is a rare death. He insta-gold picked into the wall, which made the lava from the bottom of the bridge flow into where he was hiding. It's just That's just something that it happens once. It's never going to happen again, but that's the first time it's ever happened to him. It's the first time I've ever seen that. But wow. the insta-break gold pick, just trying to hide from falling from the rest of the pigs. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, what, just what a wacky mistake. But unfortunately, it's a three-minute mistake. As he has to full reset, all of his stuff burns. And... I mean, Priffin, again, isn't going to know. I mean, he's not going to get the Warpig's advancement, so maybe he'll start to, you know, piece it together in his head. But he's not going to know um, for a little bit for sure. But then, I mean, he, he can play safe. He's got three minutes to work with. Yep. There it is. I see here. I mean, this 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 is now going to be very very challenging for Hacky Noises to come back here. But you know, we've seen we've seen more extreme comebacks than this for sure. Um, I yeah, mean, like possible. a four minute time loss is bad, but we have we have seen comebacks um, that are that are way worse than this. So you you never want to count out Hacky Noises, especially you know Hacky Noises. But Priffin, very very strong runner. I would be surprised, very surprised, if this match does not go in his favor with that loss or with that mistake from hacking noises. Yeah, I'd agree. I mean, just so much lead that Perfin has, you know, can make a lot of minor mistakes and still be fine. But again, he could just make some big mistakes that potentially change the entire course of the seed, could just mess up the zero. Die in the stronghold, have to run all the way back. Very, very possible. Hacking Noise is approaching the Bastion now. Yeah, he's coming back. Again, I mean, it is a best of seven. So even if Hacking Noise loses this seed, he still has one more seed of breathing room before he's on match point. Right. 
which I mean, again, you still you don't want to be down 0-2, but it's I mean, it's not as bad as a best of three where you'd already have lost. Not yeah. as bad as a best of five where you have to win three in a row. It gives you a little bit of room to breathe. But our predictions, nerdy, are not looking good. I mean, yours already thwarted the 4-0, but if I'm yeah, saying I... hacks 4-2 and we're down 0-2 after seed two, that is not a good look. Yeah, not 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 in the slightest. As Priffin gets the sixth rod, seventh now. Yeah, he away. was uh, he was task overlapping at this bridge, nerdy. So he's gonna go back to where his trades were, because it was a it was a double single yeah. bridge. So great, great play, great play from from Priffin here. Very, very nice overlap. There it is, exactly twenty obsidian. So can't misplace. That would be some bad time loss. We've seen misplace from. Rowl and beef salad and hacking noises all today. Yep. The later two with uh, with diamond picks, so it wasn't really a huge deal. But we have seen obby misplaces today. The nerves are high. They are indeed. In some cases, I mean, Priffin being so far ahead could also be an additional, you know, nerve factor. Like, oh, it's this is so easy. If I mess it up, it, it would look so bad. You know, like that like is if fair. He's, if he's no, that ahead. that's a fair point. Think you about know, it. A lot like, of people watching. You never know what people it's going to go yeah. through people's minds with, you know, thousands of people watching you play Minecraft. It is a experience for sure. Gets the nerves yeah. high no matter what. I mean, it's just situations you haven't been in before. Money that you've never played for before in a tournament like this. Crazy things happen. Looks like Priffin's potentially looking for a gold pick to craft. For some terrain management? I believe so. It's a little bit buried in here, you know? So it's not a bad call at all. Yeah, running into some basalt, though. Gold pick's not going to be super useful here. But he's trying to fight for this upper terrain, which is nice. I mean, meanwhile, Hacks fighting for comeback potential on the seed. He is uh, task overlapping also. Nice. Good play. Might be too little too late, though, with that death, you know, just could be yeah. cementing this lead for Priffin. Yeah, I mean, still looking for terrain, though, but again, he's just so far ahead. Yeah. Packing noises just has to do so much more playing this seed. Right. That it might not matter. But he's fighting back. I mean... Playing this fort well. Perfin has so much crafted too. He's got ground zero prepped as well. Wow. If he needs that, yeah. I'm mean, getting the, the whole arsenal out. Yeah, I mean, that just increases the chance of, you know, the consistency play, right, for Perfin, which is exactly what you want. 100%. Right he's Currently, he's at, he's at Y, 103 pushing the cords. Yeah, this wow. is just some ugly terrain, but he's got gold picks. It's another wastes now, so this should be good. Not sure when he has to start digging down, but looks like he's very close to his cords right now. We will see the I spy, the nav, and the potential zero. Was Priffin the, the the one who ground zeroed? We've seen one ground zero, or was it um? Um, I, I think that's right. Maybe, maybe it was Doug. I think Duke did try it, it but it was too late or something like that. Um, but anyways. People in chat saying it was Priffin. Gets in the stronghold. Not sub-10 pace, but good pace. No spike. Oh, there it is. Pretty down mid. Can he hmm. go left? Doesn't hear it. But like that direction there either i kind of like that light source down there a wormhole here potentially but no back to where he was hacking noise is going back to get his trades i mean perfect took a lot of time getting to second portal um True. give me a second portal cords it's very possible that hacking noise just finds some better terrain or builds his portal in a different spot maybe even gets a different stronghold but perfin is in the portal room now it, i think it's not gonna matter Let's see here. Can he close out the seed here? Awkward zero. That was the pearling block. Or pearl clip block, I should say. Didn't pearl clip. 
It is back. That's a hard, hard zero. He's I don't maybe know. Just going for ground zero then? Um, no, doesn't even want a ground zero. I mean, maybe okay, nerdy this enough. makes sense. It says Hax has just even entered the fort, hasn't even blinded. Yeah, no, Hax has. Yeah, Hax has fourteen obby. I don't know if he mined all the gold, so he is looking for his home portal right now. To I mean potentially get a different stronghold, but yeah, he doesn't have twenty that Priffin had. I think is just from the lack of potentially mining all the gold on the bridge, or the piglins not trading as much mm. as he mm -hmm. wanted them to. But he's got to find his home portal to have a chance at coming back on the seed, and he does. But Priffin is just so far ahead. Just waiting for the perch hacking noise itself right. to do so much in the seed, even if he hits the gnarly zero. He still has like two, two and a half minutes left to play. Best case scenario. Yeah. Can he make something work here? Probably not, but we will have to wait and see. Yeah. Is that the perch there for Priffin? Nope. No. No Definitely perch. Not. As we know. I mean, I, I do want to see Hax get into the end because I know that he will go for the zero because he knows he's behind. It's something right. that you will just push yourself to do even if it's very hard. And the zero is very, very, very hard. Could be a crazy comeback here. If yeah, this people in chat are also while. saying he has three beds. He does have nine wool in his inventory. So I see the line. Let's but see yeah, here. I mean, Perfin's still just waiting for the perch, but it should come soon. I mean, no half bow, but or a little bit actually. Still is just RNG, but no perch for Priffin still. Priffin building a smiley face to pass the time. When will the perch come? Is that it right there? Might be nerdy. That looks There's good. The yep. There's the snap. Hacker Noise yes. is going to take his second loss in a row. Everyone's got more than enough beds to handle this. And there we That's go. Yeah. That's it. Two seeds over Priffin. Wow. I mean, Very in this seed, it really impressive. is. It's just this three minute death from Hacks. I mean, we can look at the splits and see him, I think, crawl, claw back a little bit of time here and there, but just. So much to this death. Yeah, yep. three and a half minutes on the fort I enter. Mean, that's all it was, you know? I mean, I, it's just that death there. And at the end of the day, you can't die sometimes in, in, a, in a ranked playoffs final. It's just, it's just nothing, nothing you could do. Especially when you're playing someone like Priffin. Cannot be a part of your gameplay to lose that much time. But it looks like we are ready for a pretty calm, probably, analysis segment compared to the last one that we witnessed in the uh, third place match. But we are going to send it over to Fulham to talk through these last couple seeds and see what hacking noises can do differently to bounce back and get the momentum. And I wanted to say in honor of Beef Salad and Priffin both making the top three, I pulled out the England shirt because we've got two out of the top three. One little bit of analysis that I wanted to uh, bring up is that um, our favorite editor, Bendo from Ben Does Live, our fantastic editor who pulled everything out last minute, actually edited the player interviews for all three of, of our top three players today. Priffin, Hacking Noises, and Beef Salad all edited by Bendo. So if you are trying to win the next season of playoffs, maybe ask Ben to do your ranked interview. Um, anyway, jokes aside, we are two matches into this best of seven finale. 
Priffin versus Hacking Noises. Priffin, the pride of England, has taken home the first two seeds against Hacking Noises. But I wanted to firstly bring attention to this first clip from Hacks here, taking a very aggressive line, playing very confidently, and going for this wild boat clutch. It's a really, really nice play that would lose him a ton of time if he messes it up. For a small two or three second gain, watch where he's falling. Watch what will happen if he does, in fact, miss this clutch here. Aiming on this block here, but if he misses, he is falling straight into this lava at the bottom of this pit. A really, really aggressive play, um, but it pays off, and he does start to pull away at the very start of seed number one. Goes to start rooting this treasure bastion and plays it very well, but a slight... Uh, a slight deviation between these two runners' strategies was uh, what happened here, and I think that caused a big disparity between the two. And we see here that Hacking Noises actually goes for a double Pearl Hang. Pearl Hangs initially towards the Fortress and notices he only has 14 Pearls, which is pretty peculiar. So decides to go down to Bottom Treasure and hangs a pearl towards the pigs, which is fantastic. It's a really, really awesome play. Can't increase his render distance too much. Now, for those people that don't understand what pearl hanging means, he throws a pearl, lowers his render distance so that that pearl unloads in the world, and when he increases that render distance again, that pearl loads back in so he lands and teleports to that new spot. So, by having two separate pearls hung, he can increase his render distance to a small amount, like three or four, to get the closest pearl to land, to go back to his pigs, and then increase his render distance again to go towards where that fortress is. It's a really, really smart pe uh, play, but all this time he's grabbing this these gold blocks, Priffin is just heading towards the fortress. Now, of course, Priffin only has 12 pearls in this scenario, or maybe 13, I can't exactly remember the perfect number, but he has much fewer pearls than what Hacking Noises has. And you can see he's actually on nine right now, but gets one final trade here and decides to head straight out. And this small deviation between these runners is what makes such a huge difference here. He actually has 14 pearls, but spends one of them to get to the fortress and I believe spends potentially one more, running the rest of the seed on exactly 12 pearls. Now, Hacking Noises actually gets a little bit unlucky by trading most of the gold in Bottom Treasure, but doesn't get a lot of pearls from it, allowing Priffin to slightly be ahead of the stream, uh, sorry, slightly be ahead of pace the entire time, ahead by maybe a minute or a minute 30 seconds. Now, if the end was zero cyclable, we could have potentially seen an insane comeback by Hacking Noises, but Priffin ended up just having enough pace to be able to get there and get the auto perch from the dragon before going for the zero cycle. And we see that here. Even though Hacking Noises is in the stronghold and potentially has the materials to be able to zero cycle, doesn't have enough time to get it off, even though you can see that he enters the end right at the final buzzer. That was seed one, and Priffin was able to take it with a sub-11 time. Very, very good start. Good for the mental, but Hacking Noises played very well, and arguably played for a more consistent strategy by going down to that um, bottom treasure. Now, in seed two, we had a ruined portal, and in this... Um, I think that Priffin played amazingly well to keep that cow out of the lava there, keeping it for three ticks and then picking it back up. Uh, but also by completing this ruined portal. It's something that a lot of runners are capable of, but it's something that we saw that Hacking Noises didn't do. And that's quite a surprise for such a high-level runner, uh, and it is a big time loss. Even if it is 10-15 seconds, that is all the difference that is going to be made between these seeds. However, something that made a hell of a lot more difference was this Hacking Noises' death. And the commentators put this down to a little bit silly. He dug up into where that lava naturally flows. But I can tell you right now, analysis exclusive, he dug behind this lantern. Notice the lantern. Now, let's hop into this seed. I am on the chalice right now. I get knocked down by a hoglin and I dig up by this lantern. Where do I dig into? A random single lava block. This is why Hax died. It was not, in fact, him digging up into one of these lava sources. It was a random lava source that had naturally generated in the nether. This wasn't 
a skill issue. This was completely RNG. And you have to feel bad for Hacks in this specific scenario. He digs into the wall to try and survive. Little does he know, three blocks in is one single lava source that causes his demise. However, I will say that Priffin played this seed immensely well nonetheless. And I do think no matter what Hacks did do for this seed, after this point in time, it was simply over. And I couldn't see him coming back, obviously, from this death. But equally, Priffin did have an advantage before that death as well. And Priffin likely would have kept that throughout. Although, had Hacking Noises have attempted to go for this zero, potentially successfully hitting a Pearl Clip here, which would have been quite difficult, and maybe hitting a better Pearl towards Back Dragon, we could have seen a potential comeback if there wasn't a death. However, Priffin was ahead for most of this seed. Very good terrain navigation. Very good, uh, you know, general overlap between the bridge and the fortress. However, it could have been a lot more interesting and a lot more close had it not have been for that random block of lava. Just wanted to bring that up really fast before we head into seed three. So it is two to zero, and there is a slim chance that I don't see you again. If I don't, I appreciate you all being here. I will be back after seed four if there is to be a seed five. I will throw you guys back to your commentators and we will speak very soon. Wow. Thank you, Fulham. Thank you, Fulham. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I hope we see Fulham again. I, I hope it's not a 4-0. I mean, I want to see a game seven. In season one and season two, we got to a game seven. I know hacks can focus up. I mean, we saw it in, in the semifinals and the quarterfinals and around 16, just some perfect gameplay. And there's just been small mistakes here and there. And Priffin's been taking advantage of that time loss from hacks. He's been playing yeah. very, very well. And so it's definitely possible for hacks to take these seeds if he locks in. But at the same time, if Priffin keeps playing well, he might just be able to take it. You can't interact with your opponent at all. So it's just whoever's playing better in the uh in the moment and, and priffin's been doing that in these first two seeds so we can throw it over to the seed selection i think this has to be a bt yes buried treasure seed exciting hopefully fast hopefully both runners you know find the ravine play the nether split well avoid the deaths pretty unlucky actually from hacks i, I thought that it was like bridge generated lava but i guess he did dig more to the side and yeah no i i, I, I was wondering up. which one it was um i yeah it, it was definitely been lucky but you know that is a risk at the end of the day you know when you're digging into uh to random netherrack you know there's a risk there that there is that lava so um definitely unlucky but something he has some ex to some extent he had some control over um, maybe he could have been a little more cautious. I'm not sure. I, I, I mean, I think the real issue was getting knocked down. I'm not sure. If, I feel like he lost control of the situation when that happened. So let's see if Hacks can, you know, use this time that he's had to refocus, to, uh, you know, take a deep breath. Like we've said, can he overcome this 2-0, uh, you know, deficit? Or will Priffin take the win? Yeah, I mean, I like I said, it's literally just who's playing better in the moment. That's all it is. And Priffin's done that the first two seeds. I mean, maybe Hacks is tired, long day, weird time zone. Maybe Priffin's yeah. tired as well. I mean, again, long day for him. He he has a longer break in between the games, right? Played first yeah. out of the two semifinal matches. So it is a best of seven. This is not match point yet. But if Hacking Noises does lose, it will be. Both these runners finding this BT spike, though. And there we go. There it is. Digging at, like, the same time here, basically. First try, Flint. That's nice. Can make an FNS here. Don't have to waste iron on a pressure plate. And then it's just going to be, where are we going for our enter? I feel like Let's this is not going to be great wood for hacks. Only seven logs. Not amazing. Going for the diamond sword. It's a nice play. I mean, you need the you need the gold axe. Can't make an iron right. axe, so right. Definitely the correct play. And Haxling is going to grab a little bit more wood. So is Priffin, and they're both going to be off. Priffin leaving just a little bit quicker though. 
And he sees the good ravine off the left side of that island. But is this good for hacks as well? It is. So slightly different ravines, but very, very similar pace. Hacks might have an easier two by one, honestly. And it's just going to be who cranks this portal faster. Right. So similar, but hacks taking a little bit of a lead here. Is this spawn worse, though? No, both on the gravel floor. How are we handling this terrain? Both these runners in basically the exact same spot at the exact same time. And there's the housing. Wow. Looks like it's manhuntable very easily as well. Griffin finds some extra little gold here. Axe finds an extra chest as well, yep. The gold axe is so good for manhunt. Mm -hmm. So, so nice. Hacks a little ahead here. Both runners doing this mid-down manhunt kind of flex route. Just gets a lot of pigs going. Gets that gold early. And Hacks is just a little ahead trading yeah. all this gold. But I don't think either of I don't think either of these runners saw the fort. Yeah, it, it, very minor deviations here overall. Very similar play and decision-making, both going for that down sword, you know, having the same tools, right? Like, um, very similar play so far. Um, and I'm curious if we're going to see some deviations or if this is just going to be a raw mechanics test. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently, Priven did see the fort, being corrected in chat. Not sure if Hack saw the fort or not, then, or if he's going to be pyring. Okay. But do we need to go up? Oh my god, we might have 20 obsidian even from down here. Has 12 right now. Could be 8 in the trades, and that just could be the 20. 14. Not enough. Might have to go up. Or could just commit to the home portal play. But no, Hax is heading up. Griffin curling up. Taking like a little bit of perfect. damage, but that's going to save time. He's at the top here. So much obby in that chest. Perfect has 34 now. Wow. Hacks has 31. Both leaving. Exact same spot. Perfect. It's a zombie pig, but that should be okay. In the four for Hacks. Perfect is going to be there literally seconds later. Hacks just, you know, sort of barely beating him this entire seed so far. Can he maintain yeah. that? Not good strays for hacks. One blaze here for Priffin. It looks like a little bit of Soul Sand Valley, a little bit of Nether Wastes, but both runners playing the spawner. Hacks got some strays while doing so and might commit to those. Getting some nice strays here on two rods for hacking noises. Not the best rates, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, getting this blaze bed, Priffin forcing these strays. We've seen him do this all day, force strays in every match against Ral and made up a lot of time in the matches because of it. Right. Just due to bad spawners, bad spawner cycles, timings, all that stuff. So again, very, very unclear who is ahead right now in this fort. These rates are just awful, though. I mean, wow. Or spawn for hacks on the spawner, though. There's four rods finally for hacking noises. Is this the fifth? Make that five. Yes, it is. He's got one more blaze as well on top of the spawner, but he's going to overlap this with measuring here. And I'm not sure how many rods Priffin has, but he doesn't have a blaze bedded spawner. He's got five rods, so it's They're pretty even. Five. I think Priffin might be one rod up. Or Same amount of rods. I don't know about yeah. I don't know about right. blazes. That's very far away for hacks. Eighteen hundred. He's sending a ninety-three percent though. Look at that. And it must have wow. broken. He's not grabbing it as well. We saw beef salad lose sending a ninety-three percent. Okay, that's scary. Could maybe get a rod off of this blaze, but oh, he did. He had an extra rod. So hacks is able to leave. Very ahead of Priffin here. Let's see here. 
I think he has two odds in his numbers. inventory. Yeah, I'm not sure he's playing for one eye. In the set, like eleven is what I mean. Maybe he is though. That seems to think he is. We'll have to see. Yeah, I thought he only had decision. five eyes, but I mean, we'll see, right? It's a one in four that he just. When he left, I'm pretty sure. It's a one in four that he just loses, though. Oh man, that's so. And I don't know if you take that risk when you're down 0-2. Up in the Maybe. split as well. Priffin hasn't even started Into measure. The oh. Oh. What an eye! He needed it. The fuck? it. What the fuck? What a risky How? play. How is he in the portal room, dude? That is insane. I wonder if that had to do with the 93% This you know? is This is sub-8 pace, by the way. Like, we're freaking out right now, but it, it's 6.59, and he's oh setting up God. for zero. And he's playing like RSG, you know? He's saying, you know? Yeah, Hax is trying to just get the... <laughs> Hax is getting the sub-8 that he never got off of a, of a sub-7 end there a while ago. I, I, it's like, I haven't even processed how fast this is, you know? <laughs> That's what he's playing for. I mean, look at the damage, man. Gotta be scary falling here off this anchor, but he gets it. What the fuck did I just watch? I mean, like, you just watched a sub eight Feinberg, and <laughs> we're, I, we're getting another Fulham analysis. That's what that means. You know what I mean? Guaranteed Fulham analysis. That's what that means right there. And wow. leaving on eleven in the portal room, crazy one and eight. Like, uh, if there's a way to get your mental back into it, that's what it is. I mean, that was insane. That was yeah, insane. I mean, like... <laughs> I, I will say, like, there were some decisions that he made that were questionable as far as, you know. Oh, I, I would agree, I would agree but, with that. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, I think uh, the pace speaks for itself. Yeah, the pace speaks for itself, Nerdy. I mean, that is a sub eight fastest um, completion we've seen in the entire playoffs so far. Is and I mean, ridiculous, man. when better to do it in the grand finals? Yeah, yeah. That is insane. Uh, just, and we, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Could throw it into I'm, I'm our. Lost for words. I'm lost for words. And I, I feel like <laughs> that just makes me feel like, you know, I feel like we, we, I'm so glad that that happened in the grand finals. You know what I mean? Like that kind of pace happened in the grand finals. That is yes. awesome. That was very, very hype. I think we could throw it over to our seed selection. Nerdy, we're going to get the pick from any one of the five seeds. This is seed four. Let's see. Priffin is running it back on the Temple Overworld. I mean, he won in the Temple Overworld. Maybe he's just comfortable with them. But I know Hax likes the Desert Temple Overworlds as well. Yep. So, interesting pick. But at the end of the day, you just have to play better than your opponent. And Priffin thinks that this is the best shot that he has to do so. Incredible stuff. I mean, yeah, I, I am. That's interesting. We know from before that while Hacky Noises did lose on the Desert Temple earlier, he was very excited to be playing the Desert Temple. He did enter the, I believe he entered the Nether basically on pace with Priffin on the Desert Temple. So, you know, sort of pace wise, these two are very comparable, at least on the last seed with the Desert Temples. So my guess is it won't have too much of an impact. But hey, at the end of the day, you know, Perfin's playing what he's used to, and that is, yeah. uh, or at least playing what he's uh, what he won the first match on. And hey, sometimes that's what you need. Also, to note there, Hacking Noise's time that he got in that last match is faster than Perfin's best ranked time in season three, potentially faster than Perfin's best ranked time ever. Not sure wow. about including private rooms or anything like that, but there's there's only a handful of sub eight rank completions ever. I mean, there's only a handful of sub eight like run completions ever. Yeah. So, and that is not to say that Perfin's yeah. 813 is slow, you know? Like, that no, is, that is not, really, not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just, that was ridiculous pace. From yeah, the pace of play there is just insane. This is a four iron temple, but I'm, like, pretty sure I did not hallucinate a village just existing. Yep, there it is. So, these runners probably going to be killing the golem here, looking more like an AA overworld than a temple ranked overworld, I will tell you that. Yeah, but the food is going to be good. Going to be about where we're finding our enter. 
This is an overworld that I can jive with, Nerdy. Yeah? You like this one, Feinberg? Yeah. And there's grass on fire in Hacking Noises Savannah. So that's where the lava pool is. Wonder if Priffin has spotted that or not. You had a stone hoe here on Hacking Noises Scream. Not sure if that was... I assume that, Yeah, I think that was a miscraft. I think um, you just miscrafted, yeah. But maybe Heading just the mind the, you know, like I'm thinking, like you, you, you mind those, uh, what is it called? Like the the leaf blocks on the warped stem things. What are those called? The, I don't even remember. You know what I'm talking I about? I know, I know the blocks you mean, but I mean they would mine faster with a hoe, but <laughs> I don't really see the vision, funny. nerdy, nerdy. You I don't, don't see, see the vision. vision. Dang it! Yeah. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Look at this um, though. Neither runner killing the golem for an iron pick, just deciding that it's too slow. I mean, again, there is always iron ingots in the bastion chest, so it's not like you're playing a risk in that sense. Like, yes. you will be fine, but it is just scary. You don't know where you're going to get that iron. And you're in the fortress. Both of these runners playing an unintentional fort first. No iron there. Yeah, could be iron around in these chests as well. Hacks runs into a blaze. That one rod, rod, I don't think that's going to matter because you're going to have to come back, but it, I guess it gives a little flexibility. Yeah, it just means you have to get one less blaze later, right? Not necessarily bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, both runners on a very similar pace once again, which is exactly what I like to see. I'm wondering, do you think that we're going to see more risky decision making there from uh, from hacking noises? Like he got the positive feedback, so to speak, in the last match, play uh, I, you know, play risky. It's just play, not correct. Think. People in the chat were saying that he didn't know that he oh, uh, interesting. That he left on one eye, which okay. honestly, I believe much more than him just trying to send it. Okay. Look at this terrain, okay. though. Priffin finding higher terrain to the top of this housing. Hacking noises, speed bridging to the side. Oh, hacking noises takes a death! And I was going to say that it doesn't matter because they have so many blocks from the temple, but it does matter when you misplace the block and you take a death. And I mean, wow. nerdy, that's just a raw, that's raw three minutes. Yeah, so, I mean, it is. What do you do there? Like, yeah, I mean, you just got to run it back and hope Priffin takes a similar death. Hope Priffin plays really, you know, passively. But Priffin's going to know you're not even in the bastion. He's just still going to know, like, that he, he has time again. Like, he did a couple seeds ago that he's going to have time. Right. Oh, a yeah, little scary here from Priffin. Oh, I guess, we, I, guess we don't have a, I guess we don't have an iron pick yet for Priffin either. But it has to be in this bottom chest here. There's the iron, yeah. It does have to exist in the Bastion because of the ranked filter. Okay, okay. There's just so many chests that you can end up checking. That it was just unfortunately that last chest. Griffin could think Hax is doing Ford first. That's true. That is, that is point. very, very true. Because he does have a rod. That is a that is really true. Wow, good. That yeah, no, excellent point. Um, yeah, shout out to that, Chad for helping me out there. I I think <laughs> um, there's. I I don't know if that hurts or helps Priffin's chances if he if he has that misinformation because it could be that he plays faster and gives uh, hacking noises less of a chance to catch up, or the playing faster could equal more risks, which equals a death, which equals hacking noises back in this, you know. So yeah. there's kind of two ways to look at it. At the end of the day, I think Priffin seems like a very consistent player to me. So uh, we will have to see. Okay, noises waters his lava there. Not amazing mechanically, and has only wood tools. I'm not sure if just didn't blow up any cobble in the temple, or doesn't want to make. I mean, if you have the cobble, you're going to make the tools though. So he must just have no cobble. But he's got 15, a weird decision-making wood tools here, because it's not like he's going back to recover his tools. He fell in lava fully, so it, it's a full seed reset that he has to do here. And he has basically no info. Like, he knows where he's going terrain-wise, but that's about it. He, he kind of already knew where he was going. Maybe he's going to take it higher this time and, and kind of copy what Priffin did. 
but you're just yeah. so far behind. This is a three minute time loss, man. That's just that, like, what is Priffin going to do to mess this time up? Because we'll he can only play so fast. Maybe here we will see him leave on 11 if he needs to, or leave on 10 on purpose, yeah. being this far behind. I honestly yeah, still I'm don't sure. know if that's correct. <laughs> but, but yeah. I feel like, I feel like what, most likely we're playing for a messed up zero, I think is probably seemingly the most consistent friend, right? You mess yeah. up a zero, then the other person can catch up. Like that's probably, or like a really bad stronghold, something like that. Um, seems for the most part, like these, these runners are pretty consistent. Yeah. Perfect. Back also. to the fort. He's starting the Bastion, so again, unclear to Priffin what the play is here. Might think that he's on the ropes because of a fort first play from Hax. That would be like the safer assumption rather than, oh, Hax died before he got to the Bastion, right? Like, how right. would you, you just, you fail speed bridge is kind of the only way. You don't think that someone would do that. Yeah. But unfortunately, it just takes one, one slip, one misclick. And Priffin, oh, oh my god, he punched the zombie pig. pig. Yeah, he did. Should be fine. Should be able to give himself some space and dodge them. I and mean, one mad there as well. But right, good. But it shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. It shouldn't be too bad, yes. Sportress Buried fourth, though. He's, he's in a bad spot. Um, just blinding early. I really don't know why. I don't know how many rods he has. Five. Okay. He's got five rods, so this this makes sense to me. Yeah, but he's just got to go in such a weird direction to get the sixth rod. He's yeah, in a spot no, where there's true. no spawners. He has to dig so far away. That That's a good point, yeah. Let's see. Going to pick up the saw. Nice one-eye bow eye there. Maybe Hex he can hang up for a hobby. the logic. I don't know. Yeah, Hax unhanging his pearl, heading to the fort. So only a few rods and one split behind definitely has made up time. Yeah, I think that's... that's and I think Perfin did hang a pearl, yeah. Letting the mad zombie piglin, pigment out. They're stuck. I mean, this is time loss, though. Every second here is adding up, you know? Yeah, look, you're just trying to deal with this guy like, that just does not want to walk second, through. Second, you know? Like, all of this is adding up. Yeah, and he Hax still has to get that sixth rod. Hax is in the four now. I think it's too little too late still, but there's, there is seed left to play. Perfin needs to find a spawner somehow to get the sixth rod. Hax needs to not die here on like two and a half. Hax takes another death, and that should be game. Yeah. I don't know if anyone's ever won a playoff seed taking two unintentional deaths. Had them win seeds, take one, even today. But I don't know about two. There goes Priffin. I mean, just still trying to get the last rod. Priffin has not seen the spawners. There's a blaze finally and the spawners for Priffin. He gets the sixth rods. Get on hang his pearl. Hack still just a little too far behind in terms of pace. You know, has to still measure his eyes. And has 18 Abby only, so I think he, he might have a Pearl Hang to home portal. I mean, it's in the fort, but again, Triffin had 20 this seed and Hax doesn't. I, I don't know if he's just trying to play faster um, and just leave the Bastion quicker, or if he's just, you know, not thinking about 20. Yeah. But it is going to mean that Triffin's potentially going to be at a different stronghold compared to Hax, which could, could be, good, be I a guess. difference maker. Yeah, I mean, if you're actually, you want some variance, right? Because this is a linear seed, very linear. Rest of the seed, Perfin's already won. So you need something weird to happen. And that's the start of something weird to happen. Just different strongholds or even just a bad stronghold if it's the same one. Just something. You need something. Hacker Noise has needed his portal room blind, not on the last seed, but potentially on this one. Doesn't remember where his nether portal is. It looks like he misremembered a little bit. Or there he is, though. Something. He's back. But look, as Priffin. he's leaving, Priffin leaving to the stronghold, though. 
No spike. Maybe a spike right there. There it is. Yep. Yeah, Hack's not even picking up this eye, leaving on 11 again. Not sure if that's on purpose this time or a mistake. But he is just going. And there's the portal room. 2i. Not sure if it's the same as Hax's portal or uh, Stronghold. Doesn't look like it is. It's like Hax is going negative X. Perfins pause, pause. Is this going to be zeroable? So many explosives. He's got the food. 47 bread from the village as well. Just needs to not die in the zero. This should be good. Good enough for 95, I think. There's 95. Have another rotation fully. Oh, almost ran out of blocks. Scary zero setup. Here. I think this might, yeah, this might be one block lower than he wanted it to be. But he has so many explosives, like you said, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes can't even see it because of the fire. But cranking out this seven bed, not pretty, but it'll work. And it's going to put Priffin on match point. One seed wow. away, nerdy. Yeah. From winning the entire playoffs. I mean, just really good, uh, really good play throughout. Um, got a little flustered in the fortress, but other than that, you know, very clean zero, very clean nav. Good stuff. Yeah. And hacking noises, meanwhile, just I taking mean, another death is just. Yeah, he's yeah. hunger resetting for zero, though. He made up so much time. Yeah, that three is minutes true. on the death, and he's making up all of that time. Nearly three minutes on the bastion enter. Wow. Yeah. Oh wait, never mind. This is um. Oh yeah, no, this is correct though because he didn't do four at first. He died before the bastion, so he did just raw lose three minutes because of the death. Right. And then made it back to about a one minute um. One minute difference only. Yeah. Entering the stronghold and then able to go for zero basically as Priffin was winning, so only about a minute split there but i think we can throw it over to fulham in just a minute getting up just a couple last clips here to analyze the last two seeds i mean nerdy we know hacking noises can do it we saw him sub eight the last seed two seeds yep. ago well it's 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 just a consistency thing f for me it seems like hacking noises is playing faster it's just he's playing less consistent and at the end of the day sometimes going fast and really consistent is better than going super fast and kind of inconsistent sometimes. That is what I'm seeing here between these two players, speed versus consistency. And so far, consistency is winning. Yeah. And I think, I mean, we'll see if Fulham agrees, disagrees, has anything else to say, but we're going to throw it over to our second mid-match analysis. Fulham, take it away. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, I'm reading the script for the next seed. Uh, it is three to one for Priffin at the moment versus Hacking Noises. And very, very interesting start to our best of seven. Priffin has match point. And I decided to get suited and booted for this one. I've got the suit on just because I felt like this was a very important occasion, as it may be the last time that you're going to be seeing a mid match analysis from myself. Very, very little to analyze in these few seeds because there wasn't any particular massive changes between these two runners apart from very very obvious things in the first seed that we saw in uh, seed number three we saw just a couple of little differences priffin heads up towards the top of this bastion grabs all the obsidian that he's going to need and then heads out but does hit a piglin on the way out smacks this pearl directly into the piglin so has to deal with them pretty well but does do exactly that has a lava spawn fortress so really this time it doesn't do a lot of differences there's no um there's no particular impact of pearling into that piglin in that situation we did see that hacking noise is left on 11 eyes only potentially unintentionally but did do it nonetheless still only left with 11 eyes and spawned in the portal room and gets exactly one eye in the portal frame exactly what he needed and was able to finish out the fastest season three playoffs time that we have had 
it was a really good way to probably get your mental right back up to the top. It's like you've just taken two losses. What am I going to do? I'm going to crank a one in eight zero cycle. Something that is not easy at all. Gets there with one rotation to spare and cleanly hits a beautiful zero cycle. While the dragon is still circling above and gets the fastest time that we have seen in playoffs this season. A sub eight, very, very clean, better than Priffin has done during the entire season. Not only during just the ranked playoffs, but we're talking for the entire hundreds of games that he has played. Hacks just hit a better run in the grand finals of playoffs. But it doesn't matter about how fast you go in this. It is about how consistent you are. And currently, Priffin has been a hell of a lot more consistent. And some of that consistency may be from getting a an excess of bread. As we see in this scenario, obtaining 63 bread in uh, the start of seed number four. Um, just entirely unnecessary, but I love it nonetheless. Shift click 63 bread into the inventory. And we see that Hax actually does take a death when heading towards the Bastion. Just a simple speed, speed bridge death. Uh, something that has kind of been ironed out of the game recently. Something that we don't see too often. These mechanically advanced players. Very, very, very strong. Um, but it seemed like there was just a little misinput here. Um, didn't quite click the block at the right time and unshifted a slight bit too fast and heads into the drink below, gets into the lava. Nothing you can do in that situation has to reset the seed in its entirety. So, Priffin almost took a death himself, though, with a, uh, with a skeleton pushing a piglin towards him with a lot of zombie piglins around, zombie piglin here, zombie piglin there, all angry at him now, and having to try and get his sixth and final rod. It took a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of loop-de-loops around this terrain. Lap four of four ended up having to box out some of these piglins off the side of the fortress after going for a blind travel, but was able to finish out a comfortable zero cycle. Potentially uncomfortable to set up, but with the amount of explosives, it didn't matter that he was slightly offset where he wanted to be. Couple of random blocks in front, including this big, um, you know, unnecessary crying obsidian in front of him, causing the fire tick to actually spread onto that block every so often, completely blocking where you're placing that bed. But nonetheless, with a ton of explosives, it was absolutely fine for Priffin to clutch this out and take it to match point. I really wanted to ice these players as much as I could to try and make sure that there was as much nerves as possible going into this one. Um, it was a pretty, uh, <laughs> a pretty awesome situation to have left myself in. But nonetheless, I am going to hand you back to the um, uh, <laughs> hand you back over to your commentators. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I just got to make sure that I. Thank you so much, Fulham, as always. And Feinberg's muted. I'm muted, dude. I can't do it. The first time, man. I, one time each day, and, and I get muted, man. It is what it is. <laughs> it's weird, too, because like I, I'm, un, I'm unmuting my own stream to listen to Fulham, and then I have to unmute my own or mute my own stream again. And then, okay, it is what it is. Whatever. Whatever. Who cares? Um, I was saying. I hope we see Fulham back here. I hope we can get to a seed seven. I mean, Nerdy, we've gotten to awesome. a seed seven in season one and season two. So I hope we get sure. there. But again, I mean, there is some pressure. We're coming up now on three potential match points in a row for Hacking Noises. And let's see what seed he picked to, to start us off. Potentially the last, I mean, the last seed that he's ever going to get to pick in season three. If he, if he wins, then, then it's the Perkins pick for the last two. Ruin and portal. That's what I like to see. The confidence. He wants to go for, for speed here. Um, no, I mean, that's that's good. I, uh, I, I think this is going to be an exciting match for sure. At the end of the day, there's a lot of pressure on the line. Can Hacking Noises play a little bit more composed? That's the issue, I feel, is he's going fast, but a little bit on, you know, his composure is just not quite there today at least in this series here. It was there earlier. 
like you said, maybe some sleepiness, maybe some whatever, who knows? Um, but we also did see that 742. So he's not playing like bad. It's just a little inconsistent. And if he can iron out those mistakes, then I think Hakuno is absolutely could win three in a row here and take the take the victory. But that being said, it's all on the line. Perfin could could steal the win at any on any of these next three seeds if we get there. Yeah, I mean, it's doable. We've seen him make it happen, but Priffin feels like he's more locked in right about now. And we just, we need to see Hax bring that momentum back. I mean, he's got his back against the wall for three seeds in a row. And I mean, that's a, that's a huge mental hurdle, you know? At the same Absolutely. time, Priffin still has to plan his game. You know, if he, if he lets up a little bit, you can get some bad RNG in a couple seeds and, and just lose out. So we'll Absolutely. see. Absolutely. Looking for the room portal, both of these runners. <clears throat> this is a faster room portal seed than the last couple. No bucket needed, but the food situation is looking a little ugly, potentially. Look at this. Stone. Is that double silk touch pickaxe? Maybe? No, Not there's sure. cobble there, I think. There's cobble on the top. Okay, we're good. Okay. I was going to say, though, this is just the wrong play from Hacks. Priffin making the correct play, getting the gold blocks on top of the room portal to make a gold axe here. This is just faster. I guess you lose three gold, but this is just the better play. Okay. And yeah. we're going to see Priffin enter this way faster. I mean, maybe nice. Seize a cow, maybe on the way, but Priffin taking a little bit of a mechanical lead in this overworld. We'll see how these cows go. I mean, gold axe again, maybe a little better for the cows. Stone Axe not bad as well. It's just more about hoping that they don't run into water. I mean, you, you'll get the kill on them eventually. But it looks like very similar pace. Hacks. Oh my god, he punched a wolf! No! Oh! First ever wolf death in ranked playoffs. And we're on the Bastion. This is fast. Right. He's got to fight off Wolf's friend. Oh my god. There's the Bastion. There it is. Triple stables. I think this is a disconnected double triple that we're working with here. Getting right into the route. This reminds me, Nerdy, of an FSG seed so much. Yeah. Triple stables. Completable room portal. Yep. Oh, and Hacky Noises. Didn't dig his hole. Didn't dig his hole low enough. Oh, he's panicking a little bit, but seems like maybe he's able to recover this. I can't really tell. Yep. No, he's good. But that was still scary stuff. Four he's hacking gonna noises. Switch up where his hole is in this bastion. Yeah, it's gonna moving be these loss. pigs, moving these pigs way farther in here is scary, scary stuff and food loss as well. But he's Bro. able to recover this barely somehow. What a weird situation! Just missing one block there. I like seeing the recovery there. You know, a lot of pressure, and he is able to recover that. Meanwhile, though, Priffin looking really good here. You know, just much more composed as we said before um i like using that but maybe a little bit slower i'm not sure if he yeah. look um, at this hack yeah. sticking over to the other double triple ah. with that gold pickaxe from the room portal well played i think this is an unbreaking three gold pick nerdy or at least unbreaking two hacks is gonna grab these gold blocks this is mm. a quick play Let's Perfin Pyrang. i mean just a fast seed from both runners we're gonna be in the four in less than a minute Perfin did the same thing as well there's 10 obby at least from the chest on hacking noises screen. Yeah, I mean, this... Obby. yeah, this definitely should be 20 obby. I'm pretty sure. Double chest experience as well. Single chest experience as well. Hacking noises digging into this double. Can he get in there? One gold block One gold. could matter. The hack's going back down now. Does Late he... trading with a lot of these pigs. Looks like Priffin's ready to go. Is that even a pearl hanger? Is he just leaving? He's just gone. Wow. He's got five beds. He's got 20 obby. He sees the fort, and he is ahead on the seed by a lot of time, I think. I'm pretty sure Hax is going to pearl hang here, but then you're going to have to go back down for the trades. Yeah, yeah, that's a pearl hang. Priffin ahead here. Is he at the spawner as well? Wow. He is. That. Yeah, immediately. 
Look at the pace here. Four minute fort. Not bad at all. No, I mean, Hax has to pick up the pace. He's going to get to the spawner oh. soon, but not soon enough, I'm not sure. And the food situation as well. One steak left after eating this next one coming up. Priffin has three. Right. Not good. Here's the pearl from Hax. Oh, scary. At scary the pearl a little bit. But he is Five here. beds. Or two, four beds, one anchor from Priffin because of the blaze bed. Not sure what we're dealing with from Hax's point of view. That might be three beds only, Nerdy. I think that might be 46 string. I think this might not be zeroable for Hax. Oh, no. The string doesn't look like it's split correctly. Meanwhile. Yeah, not even know. a blaze bed here from Hax. Digging out the spawner with the gold pick. Not looking good for Hax believers. Meanwhile, Priffin. 510 first portal, only with four rods, but that's fast. Wow, yeah. Priffin's on his game in today's playoffs. I break. We're going to need seven rods. Not good for hacks on low food. True. Looks Mining like that glowstone, out. trying to farm explosives. Perling from Priffin. Perling, sorry. Three more blazes. I think needs all of these to drop. Maybe only needs two rods. I think if he gets one more, he's out. No. Ooh, Might okay. need two more either. I'm not sure. We know that this eye is going to break four hacks. Yep, there it goes. Perfin farming up this glowstone for explosives as well. Might be able to zero, even. True. Very heads up play there from Priffin. He's got nine eyes, rod. four beds, two anchors. That's zeroable. Precrafts a gold pick as well. Can even make two more. He's going to. Needs two more rods and he can go. Hax needs two more rods as well. But we know the rates are bad. Hax has precrafted gold picks also, but he has two beds nerdy and three anchors. So he's going to go for this as well, I think. Wow, okay. But it's harder with that with like the explosives that he has. And there we go. There's the last rod there for Priffin. Access three beds apparently. I'm sorry. Thank you for correcting me, chat. Hax needs this here. rod. He needs to go. Does he have 11 or 9? I'm not even sure, but Priffin at cords. Griffin, pretty this far could be the last from... stronghold of the day of the season. Let's see here. Axe knows too, gets the message that Griffin's in the stronghold, feeling the pressure, but we have no spike. There it is. Bottom right. Gets it barely. Axe might be leaving. Yeah, Hax is leaving on 11. Is it a zero eye? No, it's a three eye. It's a three eye could have left on nine. But if Griffin is the zero, first place, three grand. It's not an easy zero necessarily. Six explosives. Is this... Not bad, though. That's a great pearl up to 94. You'll get to 97 with enough time. Just need the damage. Can he fight through the nerves? Gets the anchors pre-placed so much time as well. Sixth anchor will break the crystal, so we need the damage on these explosives. But he's got the height and the KB. Perfect beds. Could even do it in five here. And that's it. He gets it in five. It's that's, over. That's our right playoffs. Perfin takes it 4-1. I mean, Hacking Noises dominates the rest of the bracket, but Perfin shows up when it matters. And that's GG. Wow. Clutches it out. Incredible play from Perfin. For the win. Look at that. 32. Wow. I mean, a sub nine, not a sub eight like we saw in the last BTC, but close, nerdy. What a I mean, seed. Still incredible. What a playoffs. Yeah. Wow. And New playoffs winner. There it is. Very, it's... very, very impressive gameplay from Priffin and from Hacking Noises as well. I mean, put up an immense fight. No, fantastic stuff. I mean, I, I just feel like 
the consistency sh was his, his consistency shined you know even on the match that he lost at the end of the day he still was very close you know um just really good play um i mean really from every runner today but at the end of the day you know Priffin comes out on top of that consistency yeah, and he clutched. I mean, season one playoffs, losing in the round of 16. Season two playoffs, losing in the round of 16. Season three playoffs, winning the entire event. And Nerdy, another uh, fun fact, too, that I think um, the winner of every three, or all of our seasons so far, Nerdy, is not the number one seed. Oh, true, yes. It is the person, or a person, I guess, no, no, the person, yeah. It is the person who knocked out Dougal in every <laughs> single bracket. The person who beat Dougal has won every single ranked playoffs. Wow. wow. Does that mean anything? Will that continue into season four? I, mean, I don't know, but it's something. That is, that is, that, I think that does show that Doug is, <laughs> you know, he's only losing to the, to the winner of that season. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's, that says something about Doug. Um, yeah is Dougal the true second place ranked player yeah, of all yeah, time that's that's i guess the question <laughs> there's at least an argument to be made for this what happens if he misses playoffs in season four what do we do then um, i don't think i don't think that'll happen but i mean we go <laughs> to the person who beat him in the games that made it so that he couldn't so, make it so, to the playoffs okay okay We'll figure it out when we get there. Maybe, maybe we just have to cancel the whole playoffs entirely if he doesn't make it and just True. skip it and move on to season five. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that would be good. But, that would be good. I mean, again, we can throw it over to the bracket if we want to, but Priffin taking our victory in season three, beating, what was, what was his line to get here? Let's see. Papler, qualifiers player, Dougal, like we were talking about, and then Ral earlier today and Hacking Noises just now to win the entire season three bracket, take home the first place prize of three grand and most importantly, nerdy, a shiny trophy to display in the ranked client on his profile. For sure. Very, very awesome. 